Oh, hey guys, what's up? Editing Jess here. I just got finished editing the video that you're about to watch, which I hope you like. I thought it was pretty good. Um, it has some beautiful views of my farm doing chores this morning, as well as a really exciting big milestone uh, in our coffee roasting business, Beulah, that happened today that I just had to share with you. So aside from all of that, I want you to get to watch the video, but I wanted to make a quick announcement about a little free event that's happening this week that those of you who are around may want to come take part in. Uh, my friend Dave Daniel just recently moved here. He's working for us roasting coffee and you're about to see a little bit of that. But he's also a very gifted musician and he is playing a gig this Thursday evening at the Root Cellar in Batesburg, Leesville. There is a Lexington location. That's not it. If you arrive there from 6 to 8 p.m. Thursday night, we won't be there. We will be at the Root Cellar in Batesburg, Leesville, which is one block away from our roastery, so you can peek by that um, if you happen to be here. Uh, and I just wanted to let you guys know because it's just a restaurant. We're gonna go at night and support him. And I know many of you have mentioned wanting to hear him play, and I thought it would be really cool to let you guys know that this is gonna be happening Thursday night, August 17th, 6 to 8 p.m., the Root Cellar, Batesburg, Leesville. Maybe I'll see you there. Let's watch the vlog. Gabriel sees bikers biking down our road and he's letting them know. <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> Fraulein, you look like a big girl. <coughs> Ladies, good morning. Good morning. <coughs> Stop. Good morning, Fern. <coughs> she made a bad choice. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Hey, heifers. Yeah, I called you a heifer. Hey, cutie. Tilly girl. Ah. You say hi to our friends? Hi friends. You're a sweet girl. Every morning Jeremiah gives the beef heifers a little bit of feed back in that paddock so they won't stand here and yell at him the entire time he milks. <laughs> it's literally just his offer, his annoyance offering to them. <laughs> hey Maya, what if there was a message in the spider web one morning that said some cow? That would be pretty cool. I'll mostly just leave it because she kills flies for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I just leave all the webs because I'm like, eh, they're helping. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Knows to come in and put her right foot back so that way I can access her better. Oh. And Fern still has it backwards. She's doing it now. I, I moved her feet. Yeah, I know. And then Helen just comes in with a gargantuan letter that like, it doesn't matter where my feet are. <laughs> <laughs> Toaster strudel, toast a ghost. <laughs> 
Those chicks aren't for you, girly. The barn cats are like, oh, you're such good owners. You catered dinner. Nah, that's why we have a fully enclosed breeder room because of other threats, but also our cats. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, you want me to do the water and food in here while you're doing that? Yeah, it looks like they still got food, but you Yeah, they need water. Hey, little babies. All right, you guys enjoy the chick antics. I'm gonna go fill up the water. So our chick order from McMurray Hatchery came in this week and we now have, come along, 105 little Cornish cross chicks. Yeah, baby. You may. Come on. Hey, Ben. Good morning. What's up? Mm -hmm. Baby chips. You know what I've so heard? So cute. <laughs> you go. You can pick them up. It's fine. But they're going to be scared. We'll just be gentle with them. Are these butcher ones? Yes, these are. Benjamin came home from the hospital. Let's see, the first time we went for a walk around the farm, he had a little jaundice and so he needed sunlight. So we put him in a wagon and carried him around the farm and went into the chicken yard when he was three days old. So whenever I see him picking up little chicks and he referenced the so cute baby chips, it's funny when he came in, his first, his first instinct is to touch them with one finger. There is an art to raising gentle, gentle children, and uh, you have to give them an opportunity to touch breakable things. You have to teach them how. What breakable things? Baby chips. Hey Ben, where are we going this morning? The roastery. The roastery? What are we doing at the roastery? Daniel's gonna roast. Daniel's gonna roast our first batch of coffee. That's it. We're headed down to Beulah this morning after farm chores. And we are going to go uh, meet Daniel down there and we're roasting our first batch of coffee. And then this week, Giovanni, you guys met in a previous video, whose family has the coffee farm in Guatemala. He's coming up here and kind of running us through some things. We're getting closer. Gio is so fun. Gio is so fun? Yeah. yeah, he's super nice, huh? All right, little change of scenery. We are now at which we have the certificate of occupancy on as of this week. And of course, Daniel lives here now. And today we're ba roasting our first batch of coffee. Hey, yes, are you ready for some coffee roasting, Toe? Yeah. Set man. <laughs> there they are, the green beans. Isn't that green? Yep, the last time these were touched was on the farm in Guatemala. Oh, we got it. Mm -hmm. There they are. Wow. That's what coffee looks like before we roast it. You want to smell it? It, doesn't, it smells nothing Ugh. like coffee. Nothing like coffee, I know. It smells like a plant, huh? Yeah. Are you nervous? No. <laughs> Y'all, this is Joe. Hey, hi, Joe. Joe's hi. one of the ones who worked tirelessly on this building. Yes. You have spent uh, way more hours days. here than I have. <laughs> Many days. Many, many, many days. hours. And you're here for the first roast. First roast. I am so excited. <laughs> this is amazing. Well, your work is amazing and yes. I appreciate it so much. I love the number of caring hands that have put their work on this project. Absolutely. It takes a lot, so. We're excited. <laughs> Green coffee beans smell kind of like okra. I can see that. Yeah. So many. Nebs. Nebs ready to go. Maiden voyage here. Y'all see those little bits coming out of the left? That's the chaff coming out. Yeah. Just waiting for the sign. Why is there a thing over there? 
That's for our side. Now we gotta listen uh, because first crack is about to go. Oh yeah, they're brown. That's it. 7.40 first crack. Going pretty quick. It's so bad now. It's 183. I can hear it cracking. So now we just got back to where we started. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's down. Daniel, I heard it. It's like fire. It's like fire. It's like fire. It's the cooler starting up because it's about to drop. Watch. cup of Vila coffee. Can't wait to share it with you. I bless you guys. Until next time. <laughs>